This is the CS Moments. Today's topic is neoadjuvant therapy. This is the scenario to use if the patient had a partial or complete response to the neoadjuvant therapy, but you have unknown staging information. Now, when a patient has partial or complete response to neoadjuvant therapy, you're always supposed to use the information that demonstrates the worst scenario. So if the patient had a partial or complete response to neoadjuvant, the worst scenario to be coded in collaborative stage is before the treatment, the clinical stage. This equates to an eval code 5. For eval code 5, clinical staging information is used. This includes the physical exam, imaging, and diagnostic biopsies used as part of the workup. This shows the efficacy of neoadjuvant treatment, partial or complete response. <clears throat> now if you have unknown staging information, if the clinical information is unknown or not available in your medical record, then for this scenario, you should record the clinical stage information as unknown. Tumor size 999, extension 999, and lymph nodes 999. You should not record information just because you know it. You have to choose the appropriate information and for partial or complete response, the proper information to record the worst scenario is the clinical stage. This is a worse scenario than what would be found on the surgical resection pathology report, the Y pathologic. This is a scenario to help you understand. A patient has a large mass in the left breast, infiltrating duct carcinoma, and possible axillary lymph nodes are positive. Four months after the start of chemotherapy, the exam and imaging no longer demonstrate a breast mass or lymph nodes. On the surgical resection pathology report, it is shown that there are multiple foci of carcinoma in the breast, none larger than 3 millimeter. There's a foci of carcinoma less than 0.2 millimeter in each of two fibrotic lymph nodes, which are suggestive of treatment effect out of the 13 nodes that were removed. So for the staging of this case, you would record the clinical information even though it is unknown because that was the worst scenario. You would record the tumor size is unknown, extension is unknown, and the lymph nodes is unknown. The eval code is 5 for the tumor size extension and for the lymph nodes. The distant metastasis is always recorded before the treatment. If you have any questions, you can check the AJCC 7th edition Cancer Staging Manual Chapter 1, which further explains this. The CSV2 pre and post treatment staging specifications team information was also used as a reference in writing this lecture. If you have further questions, please submit them to the CS Forum. This is located within the Cancer Forum. This provides access to questions and, and answers to everyone, and it allows everyone to benefit. It also allows us to track this for educational purposes to help us choose the next topics for our lectures. This is part of the YouTube on the AJCC channel. Please check out this channel as there are other AJCC and collaborative stage topics that cover important concepts. This has been brought to you by the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team and the AJCC, the American Joint Committee on Cancer. Thank you.